Hello beautiful people, Kyla Give Hand here, welcoming you back to my channel and to this new series, Fountain Pen Friday. I am doing a mini series inside of the Fountain Pen Friday series where I am releasing five videos that talk about my five favorite fountain pens for beginners. This originally was filmed as one long video and I realized that it was just way too long. So I decided to release one a day over a series of days. This video is highlighting pin number two in the series and it's actually video four because I'm counting the pins down five, four, three, two, and one. So in this video I share with you uh, my love for the Caveco Perkio fountain pen. There's also a giveaway associated with this pen so stay tuned to the end and in the description I tell you all about how to enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right lovelies welcome back and we are at number two. <laughs> I had to think about it. We're at number two of our um, of my list for favorite big pens for found pens for beginners so this is the Caveco Perkio and I love this little pen oh my gosh and I put it in the number two position because it's such a great writer and it has a great story I love a pen with a great story so uh, Caveco around I don't know 1900s or so they had a dip pen that they called the Perkio. And that pen has been reimagined as an actual fountain pen. And it has all of the hallmark sort of things that we in fountain pen world love about Caveco. For instance, it has the uh, Caveco name on the cap. And I, sh I probably should have pulled out. Oh, I got to. Okay. It comes in some fun, funky colors, which I love. And because the, the lids, the caps just pop off, you literally can swap them out. All right. Which is super fun. Trust me. I love this part of it. Um, and I don't have all the colors. They come in, I don't know, maybe seven or eight different colors. Um... Yeah, I think it's seven or eight different colors. So, let's talk a little bit about this pen and why I put it on my list of beginner pens. Well, number one, the price point. It's a pr it's under twenty bucks. Um, it's a really great pen for under twenty bucks. It has a um, really smooth nib. I mean, the Caveco nibs are just beautiful nibs. So it has a beautiful nib. It has. Um, now I love the black nibs, um, the sort of sh I call them shadow nibs. I think other people call them shadow nibs too, um, but it is a it's a black nib, and so I like that. But whether the nib is black or stainless steel, um, it is a beautiful, beautiful writer. These are medium pins, medium nibs, and I love the sort of the barrel is or. Not the barrel. This is the cap. The cap of the pin um, is eight-sided, so it's kind of like um, an octagonal. And the body of the pin, the barrel of the pin, is 16-sided. Uh, and so you can feel the little ridges around here, and it has, you know, just a smooth, um, but also sort of bevel. You can feel it, right? Which I love because it keeps the pin from rolling on its own. Right? It keeps the pin from rolling off the desk. and So I like that about it. Um, again, love the colors. It has a... Um, when we get into actually looking at the, you know, the writing part of it. It has a triangular grip section. So really, again, good for fountain pen beginners. Because it shows you where to place your fingers. So I like that about it for, for, for beginners. Um, all of them, the, all seven of them are like two-toned uh, colors. And they have like, there's a black and gold one. There's um, a couple others. And in fact, I am giving away one. I'm giving away the Old Chambray, which is a sort of a blue and white, gray and white, sort of blue and white kind of color. 
um, it comes with some ink cartridges and then I'll be throwing in a few additional ink cartridges for you and a little journal to go along with it. All of the pins in the giveaway will have a small little journal to go with them. And the journal that I'm uh, giving is, is pretty small. It's a really tiny little journal just to give you, I'm just grabbing one of them, uh, just to give you a taste. Just to give you a taste of what um, Tomoe River paper feels like, the difference between writing with Tomoe River paper and uh, with a fountain pen and just regular paper. So every pen that I'm giving away comes with a little handmade journal with Tomoe River paper in it. So with that said, uh, what else do I want to say about the Caveco Perkyo? Um, the filling. So you can do a converter or you can do now it does roll if it doesn't have that body on it. Uh, or you can do they come with these the little cartridges. This little one that comes in is you can't put ink in it. It's open at the bottom. It's literally just for for shipping and transport. Um, so I'm actually going to toss that. And um, you can use cartridges. So cartridges or converters for this one. Um, what else do I want to say? This little threaded section is um, sort of an interesting thing because it is a clear transparent threaded section um, which is, you know, this little uh, section is where the, the, gr the um, pin grip and the barrel of the pen meet, but it also acts as, it serves as a little ink window. I can literally see how much ink I have left if I have any ink left, which in this one I do not. But if I did, I would be able to see right through that transparent window there. And that is such a great little feature. To me, that is like attention to detail. And I love when a pen company puts some detail, some attention to the details. Um, what else? I think that's all. I think I love the um, snap-on cap. Oh, well, that, that's not the right body for that. But again, it could be, right? And that's the beauty of these is they're interchangeable Franken pens. You can make your own little Frankenstein type pen where you take the body of one and swap it out with the grip of the other and swap that out with the cap of a different one. So I love that they are also postable. Now, the posting of this pen does make it just a tiny bit long, um, but not too bad. It's not too bad, and it's weighted nicely. It's a great pen for fountain pen beginners. I love the Quebeco Perky Up. All right, so I will, I think I am going to demonstrate to you one more filling technique, and we'll do this, we'll fill this uh, peach colored Perkyo. So the ink that I'm going to use for this pen is um, the <laughs> Roher Kling Klingner. I can never say it. It is a, um, I'm pretty sure this is a German, yep, a German brand. And Roher Klingner. So I'm sure there's a correct pronunciation. This one that I'm giving you is not it. Okay. But these inks I love. They all have these little uh, artistic folks on the front. This one is called Thea. It is a gray sketch ink. Um, and what I really love about um, these pens, these inks, is that they this one is waterproof. The sketch inks are all waterproof, and I love that. So, here's another way you can fill your, your, car cartridge, your converters. Okay? So I'm just going to pop the bubble on the top of that. And I'm just going to pour just a little bit of the ink into the cap. And then I take my car my converter. I screw the mechanism all the way to the top to get the air out. I turn it upside down into that ink and then I just draw that ink up. Now, with this method, you need to burp the pen sooner. So I turn it, I screw a little bit of the ink, I pull a little bit up until I see some ink come in, then I push it back down. 
and then I do that again and again and the key here is you have to hold you need to keep it flat to the in the ink and you need to uh, draw the ink up slowly and once you the more you do this the more you'll get the hang of doing that and it's just another way to fill your converter and you'll notice um, I kind of know now how much ink it takes to do it because this is pretty much empty so but just if it wasn't I would kind of tip my cap over just to make sure and then replace my cap on my ink then I go to my pen so for those of you that don't like to dip the tip of your pen into your ink that is a beautiful way and also when the ink gets low in the bottle this is a method that you can use so that you can refill your pens and so I'm just going to shake a couple times just to sort of get the ink flowing and there it is doesn't take long so we'll move that out of the way and we will do our next writing sample so this is Kaveco Perkio. And it has the Roja and Klinger Thea Sketch Ink. And this ink is kind of like a gray. Great for creating shadow, but it is such a beautiful color when it dries. It almost has a, um, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a gray with a little, a tiny hint of brown in it. It's really beautiful. I love it. So that is the Caveco Perkio with Thea Sketch Ink. And this is a medium nib. Now this is the first time I've inked this pen. So, I will just share with you quickly what I do the first time I have inked a pen for the first time and it, is, it doesn't appear in my log yet. So, this will be number 13 in this particular log. So I just go to the page. I write in the name of the pen. And when I have pens that are the same name but different colors, I always put the color. And I'm just going to say gray. I don't know what I mean. The nib size on this pen is a medium. And I like to do a little sample of that. I haven't cleaned the pen yet, so I don't put anything for cleaning dates. And then next is the brand. This, this, all of this is for the ink. So the brand of ink that I use is the R and K, and the color is Thea. I'm gonna put R and K Sketch Ink. Today's date is the sixth, sixth, and then my writing sample, um, just for Fountain Pen Friday. And there you have it. Such a beautiful, beautiful writer. I love this pen. It's a great writer, especially for beginners. So I'm just going to stick that in there to blot. All right. So the Caveco Perkio, that is our number two. Next up, I know you're curious about what I put in the number one position. Stay tuned. Here we go. Okay, lovelies. There you have it. The number two pen for my list of five favorite fountain pens for beginners. The Caveco Perkio is such a lovely writer. If you are a fan already and you have one of these pens, I sure would love to hear your experience down below in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video where I share with you my number one fountain pen for beginners. Stay tuned. See you then.